I think that we're probably going to run out of time if I give you guys until 25 after. The purchasing department's eyesight isn't very good, so we're probably going to have to take bids from the front. This one was actually the wrong side of the card, <laughs> but it's very creative. In, in the whole room, this was the best Michigan drawing of a back side of a card. We're, we're working through insurance with our company, and we haven't been paid yet. We had customers who haven't paid us. The guy didn't cut the grass outside yesterday. So we can only pay you $5. I'm fairly certain you guys could do a much better drawing than the one I bought. The two of you, for whatever reason, really weren't in the game. There's all kinds of reasons why you guys have probably the best skills in the room, but didn't get the business. The way that this played out, and oftentimes business plays out, is you have to be the best in the situation that you're in to win the business. In doing this, I, I'm, I'm trying to give you guys an example of what we go through continuously as a small company in America. And it's incredibly often that things change in my business. It changes by the day, sometimes it changes by the hour. And I think what I tried to run through with you guys today was a whole series of changes that were a little bit unfair. Sometimes they were poorly communicated. But I think in reality, that's oftentimes what we see in business. And I think the biggest thing for you guys to think about as you go through those challenges is are you failing at some of these things or are you quitting? And there's a significant difference between failing and quitting. And I think understanding your ability to quit or never quit from an entrepreneurial perspective will have a really big impact. It, I try to find some more outlets and we may branch out to different things. I think I showed you different brands. One of the things that we do is bring new brands to market, which we need to innovate as a company continuously. And I think that's another way to do something different and still have that excitement. Things do happen, and I don't know if I ever woke up thinking I can't do this. I think I woke up every day saying this is what I have to do. And maybe part of it is just the mindset. Ultimately, if your customers don't need your product, then that company is unsalvageable. And I think a smart business person you know, cuts through that, and then they figure out behind it, how do you bring that product to market? And then you talk about salvageable financially. One of the things that I really encourage you guys to think a tremendous amount about as you go through time were the cards that I handed out. And I think it's easy to go through days or months or years not thinking about really what game you want to be in and what your priority is. Um, as we found out in doing the exercise with the cards, to win the game, you have to be in it. And the game could be your relationship with your spouse. It could be being a parent. It could be running a company. Whatever it is, I encourage you guys to be in a game. And every time you see a deck of cards for the rest of your life, think to yourself, am I in a game right now? And I, am I working hard with a priority to do something to compete in a game or to do better in a game, whatever that might be in time? So that's it. Thanks. That's right. Mike, thank you very much.